the original question, 73-year-old man here, had a PSA test as part of recent Medicare wellness visit. My first PSA reading was 8.3 with a free PSA of 13.5. My second readings, taken two and a half weeks later were 7.0 and a 13.5 free. Other info worth noting. Was diagnosed with BPH 15 years ago and had laser surgery that successfully relieved urinary flow problems. Have not had any problems since. Also, I've shown no other symptoms known to be associated with prostate CA such as blood and urine or semen, etc. I'd be interested in your opinion. Thank you. 1. Free PSA values normal range is from 0.2 to 5.0 ng slash ml. 2. High risks of prostate cancer associated with high total PSA and low free PSA percent. For asymptomatic men. 1. If total PSA is below 2.0 regardless of free PSA percent, the probability of prostate cancer is very low. 2. If T size greater than 10. The probability of prostate cancer is high and must confirm by doing biopsy from the prostate. 3. If total PSA is in the gray zone from 4 to 10 then we need the ratio of free PSA to total PSA in order to determine the relative risk of prostate cancer. In your case, FSA to TSA ratio is 1.6 and 1.9 for the two tests you done, any ratio, and GT, 0.25 in men older than 70 years, the percent probability of finding prostate cancer on a needle biopsy is below 16%, which is very low when compared with the ratios lower than 0.1 that has the probability 65%. 